This is where we'll house all the files for this tutorial. Open up Flash. I'm using CS4. Uh, click on Create New Flash File Action Script 3. Control S to save and name it whatever you like. And make sure you're saving it in the folder we just created on the desktop. Now, with Action Script 3 driven Flash applications, every movie clip is defined by a corresponding Action Script file. For example, this very stage here is actually a movie clip defined by an all encompassing root class called the document class. We specify which Action Script file contains the custom definitions for our document class here in this text field. So we'll name it, uh, just by preference, I always name it document main. You can see a warning pops up now. Um, by specifying this file name to define our document class, we've initiated a search for a corresponding action script file by the same name. However, no such file was found because we haven't created it yet. And that's why we're getting this warning here, informing us that a default class uh, definition will be created for us if the file is still nowhere to be found when it's time to uh, publish our final product. So go ahead and click OK, and let's make that document class definition file right now. Control N to create a new action script file down here. And Control S to save. Now we must name this file the same name we specified in the document class text field here, which is document main. And that's our action script file here. We'll save everything. And Let's try and run our movie clip to see what happens. First of all, nothing comes out. But if you look down here, we have a compiler error. Uh, and what this says is basically letting us know that this is not a proper class definition. So let's fix that right now. We begin with a package statement. And what that basically does is it defines the scope of our code, but you don't have to pay attention to the details just yet. Uh, we want to import flash display dot movie clip because we'll be working with movie clips. Uh, we want to write the actual code for our class definition, which is public class uh, document main extends extends all the properties and functions, all the characteristics of a generic movie clip. Now this must extend either a sprite or a movie clip uh, when we're dealing with a document main class here. And within this public class uh, declaration, we also need a public function by the same name, document main nothing and basically the public function within the class with the same name as a class is called the constructor and it's called anytime we instantiate or create a new object belonging identified by this class so let's try saving that and running it now no errors so apparently this is a proper class definition uh, you could just copy and paste this, save this as a template, uh, because this is a generic default uh, class definition for any movie clip or document main class that you'll be creating. However, as you just saw, it has no errors, but also it has no output. Let's change that by adding trace hello action script 3 and try running that. And still nothing here, but you see down here in the output panel it says hello ActionScript3. That's because this trace statement 
uh, it only works during development, so it, it serves no purpose in the final product. But as you're developing your application, you can uh, print out needed data here. But we want it to do something in the final product, so let's get rid of that. Go back to your uh, stage and go to Tools, the text tool here. And let's write hello action script 3. Go to the selection tool. Right click on our text here. Uh, convert to symbol. And let's name it my message clip because we're going to make it into a movie clip here. It populates it in the library. Uh, right now, if we run it, it just says "Hello, Action Script 3. But uh, this tutorial is not covering how to do things on the stage. We want to be able to uh, instantiate this, show this um, through code. So let's delete this. It's still in our library, so the movie clip still exists in our project. So if we run it, nothing. But let's go back to our document main class definition. And then our constructor, which is run once at the beginning of our, our movie, we want to create a variable called uh, my movie clip is what that stands for. And it is of type my message clip, which is the movie clip we just created. Uh, and it's equal to the return value of uh, the constructor of that of that class movie clip class. <clears throat> now, as I said earlier, um, this movie clip, whether it be the document main class or any movie clip you create, by default, a class definition is created for us. Uh, that class definition is. Uh, mostly useless. It, it's just a placeholder and it doesn't give it any special characteristics. But in this case, we don't need our hello action script 3 message to do anything. So we'll let the flash environment create the action script file for us in this case. So that's what this does. It creates a new instance of my message clip movie clip class. And if we run it now, nothing, uh, let's see here, my message clip, it, it did not find our uh, class. Oh, that's because we have to go back here, right click on this movie clip, go to properties, and we want to export it for action script. Basically what that's saying is that we want to be able to reference and create more instances of this class using ActionScript. So always make sure this is checked. And our class name is going to be the same name by default uh, as the name that we gave the movie clip, which is my message clip. So I'll go press OK. And once again, it's warning us that no such file was found. And this time, we're not going to create a custom ActionScript file. We're just going to let it create uh, the file for us. So let's save it and try running it now. Okay, it's blank because even though we created an instance of this movie clip, we haven't yet attached it to the display list of our document main class. And the way we do that is you type this. This references uh, our instance of document main. This dot add child. MMC. That adds our instance of my message clip to the display list of this, which is document main, which is our main movie here. So now let's save it and try running it. Okay, as you can see, it created our movie clip, it added it to our display list, and here is our final product.